Is audio going? Saudi Arabia? Is audio going? Oh, uh, <laughs> I was asking like a legitimate question. It wasn't yeah. just the mumblings of a junt. <laughs> <laughs> <gonna do the laughs>. <laughs> I, was, I thought we were going to go to the middle school street beat or something. Oh, but, sure. Yeah. One, two, three, you <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to be bass. Oh, okay. That's okay. We can, we can move on. <laughs> So we got. <laughs> I can't stop. I literally can't stop. So I gotta open a box. We got uh, two boxes here. I'm gonna count them because that'll get me off the topic of going. Uh... <laughs> this is from Amy Sauter Brown or Sater Brown. Uh, Duluth, of Duluth, Minnesota. Minnesota. She sent stuff to us before. Yes, and it is marked with a really cool looking fragile sticker. I like its legacy 90s styling. And this is in a Annie Chun's box. The tape again is strong. When people send in boxes, if you could use weak tape. <laughs> weak tape? Cool whip? Cool whip, yeah. You mean cool whip? Yeah, cool whip. So that all we have to do is slap the table and it opens? <laughs> yes. Here's a, a lovely letter, if you would be so kind. Hello, RCE. I found a couple more Macs for you to try. Sadly, there was no three cheese option, but I bought both of the flavors that my local grocery store carried. I'm interested to see how much different the noodles in these are from the regular ones. Uh -oh. I've also enclosed a bottle of barbecue sauce for EJ. It's made here in Duluth for a barbecue restaurant called OMC Smokehouse. It stands for Oink Moo Cluck. That's cute. So my kid would like it. Yes. You know, she's starting to be like, cat. Cat. And you'd be like, what's that? And you go, this. <laughs> Can you say moo? You say moo? <laughs> moo. I hope you enjoy or at least have fun trying these items, and I'll keep browsing the aisles for new Macs to send your way. So she likes sending us stuff. Oh, that's great. Whoa, we were sent these a couple of episodes ago. Yes. Yes, cauliflower. So we can make a double portion of each. We'll be able to feed everybody. Thank you very much for sending them. You know, they happen sometimes, it's not your fault. We didn't read the back last time. Even more reasons to love it. I'd say it's fewer reasons. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm uncounting the reasons. So you know that eating more veggies is a smart choice. So a smart choice, right, is, isn't that a, a, a Canadian thing? So they're sort of tying oh, that in. Oh, yeah. And know what makes them fun to eat? Delicious macaroni and ooey gooey cheese. Every helping contains a quarter cup serving of vegetables that will make both parents and kids smile. And well, I don't think the vegetables will make the kids smile. You might be able to hide them in there. But <laughs> craftmacandcheese.com. I mean, if anybody was going to do an okay job, I suppose it would be Kraft. Yeah. Didn't we have some other vegetable-based ones that were... <laughs> It's so tempting. I just want to like jam out all day because the table sounds kind of like a drum. Barbecue sauce. So I want my baby back, baby. I was in a Chili's not too long ago. Yeah. And all over the walls, they were like, you want your baby back, baby back ribs. Like they were still, I was like, how are you? Still a thing. Chili, baby back ribs. I want my baby. Chili, baby back ribs. Zesty honey BBQ sauce. It looks pretty thin, which is the way you might do a barbecue sauce. Some grotesque imagery of a pig, cow, and chicken. Why is that? imagery grotesque. Well, first of all, they're like white ghostly. Also, like there's kind of like an implication, I think that they're like complacent in it or that they're part of it. I, I think some of Nina's veganism is wearing off on you. I mean, it does happen after a while. You either break up with them or you- <laughs> Yeah, you gotta adapt Agree a with them bit. a little. It's from Duluth. Directly from Duluth. OMCSmokehouse.com. Yeah. Check them out. And tell Kraft that you want more- Cauliflower. You want three cheese available in cauliflower. Yeah. Today's Mac that we're gonna try, Frankie, is the Mac that we just saw on unboxing Two unboxings ago. Yeah, we're we're gonna do this, Larry the. I almost said Larry the David guy. Larry the David guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look who it is! Hey, Larry the David guy. Hey, hey how you doing? Hey. What's happening? They said it was a dollar. If you remember from the messaging, Larry the dollar guy. Uh, you gotta try it. Is what Larry says on the front. You know that Terminator. You put two maters in this? Like two maters, but without the two. He's been like in movies, like like Larry the Cable Guy branded. Like he's they, they tried to do like an Ernest thing with him. He really? To be the new Ernest. <laughs> I can't do that. We got another box. Why don't we get to the box here? Oh, this comes from from an infamous source. It's TV's Gary. Yeah, infamous. Wait, should we do it like a Jenga tower? Whoa, it sort of worked. Some Cumberland Farms mac and cheese bite Whoa. chips. What's this whole thing where like treats taste like mac and cheese? 
This tastes like cheese. Yeah, a little light cheese even. It's not that strong. Cumberland Farms, as you know, when they redid their stores probably four years ago, they added a big food section. And you can go in and get some pretty decent food for, like, quick food. You got mozzarella sticks, pizza, hot, hot yeah, dogs. Yeah, hot dogs. Um, and they have good breakfast sandwiches. And one of the things they have is mac and cheese bites. And this is obviously inspired by that. It's like diner side snacks. There's a Speedway up the street from my house. And they have just, like, on a little, a little tray, a little hot tray. Yep. You just take a foil burger, and they're good. They're good? Like, the, yes, the patty is a little rubbery and you know, whatever, but, like, it's pretty good. Oh, let's take a look at these Macs. We've had Gold Emblem before. We never had it. We never did We never it. tried it. I don't think. Are you sure about that? Frankie, pull up the back database. You might be right. Gold Emblem. Should we pick it up? No, I don't have this one either. A bound. It's very expensive. And we also got here a Bernie's Farm Organic barnyard shaped pasta. Bernie is the rabbit. Oh, that's right. Okay. One's a pig. It's got a carrot, a tractor, and a bunny. And that's very cute. This is a Gold Emblem Organic that I didn't even know existed. Sold also at CVS. It's free from artificial preservatives and flavors. Gold Emblem Abound Original Mac and Cheese. That's the one we've had. We've had it. Episode 82. Should I go to a clip? Go to a clip. Oh, Boring Chuck from Ohio did it. Did he? Yeah. It's, it's right there. See it? Yep. But we didn't do this one. We Fine. Done. Let's try the Gold Emblem first. It's a very bland Mac. Yeah. Somehow not terrible, just very bland. <laughs> it's about Boring Chuck's speed. So thank you, Gary, for sending those in. I think we need to do another Annie show, Frankie, because they've had some reformulations where they say it's tastier and yummier than ever. Okay. How's our Larry doing? Pinky and the Brain and Larry? <laughs> that was a thing. It's Pinky and the Brain and Larry. It's Pinky and the Brain and Larry. We'll serve up a little bit of Larry. As if he is personally contained. With a little bit of love. And some cable guy. The cheese is pretty thin. Oh, God. Ooh. It's so sour. And, and, ooh. It's heavy with artificial bacon flavor, too. Ugh. It's like heavy on the throat. Yeah. It weighs you down for such a small noodle. Look, I'm not a fan. Oh, he's selling his Mac for a dollar. What do you expect? He's outside the building. Yeah, he's got a big box, <laughs> big pile of it. The bacon is is not, is no pieces. It's got bacon flavor, but it's super artificial. Should you like a quick list of his movies? Yeah. His movies are as bad as his Mac. Larry the Cable Guy, Health Inspector. Larry the Cable Guy, Witless Protection. Delta Force, 232. He was the 230 that time. Oh dear. The Rock was the, the first time. He also is the main character of Jingle All the Way 2. He's kind of like a weird, like, sequel guy. Pixar really smiled upon him with those Cars movies. Some people, like, you know, the working man seems to really like him. Yeah, and the working man wouldn't care for this Mac. You ever see him out of character, not doing the voice? No. He's like, yeah, well, when I did Witness Protection, you know, I wanted to really dive into the, who the character was. That's not true, but it, 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 <laughs> I'm like a, uh, I'm a linguist chameleon. YouTube frequently recommends to me a clip called Gilbert Gottfried with his normal voice. Yeah. And it doesn't sound like this! <laughs> well, like, no crap that he doesn't sound like that all the time. Imagine if he did, though. Yeah. Okay. Hello, good morning! Yeah, Gary, it's Gilbert. You I'll kidding? I'll probably be there tomorrow, but um, just tell me what exactly is going on tomorrow, you know, what's, you know who's going to be there and everything like that. All right, Frankie, play us out. I never played those. Of course, you play the street beat for as long as you have to. Yes. You know. And, and sometimes, if the parade you were marching in really went on and there was nobody for a while, they'd just go to taps. Yes. And you could walk a good mile and a half till the next part of the parade. I played um, bass in the marching band. I was always near the percussion. I never played the percussion. You always played brass instruments? I, I played up front percussion, which is like, you know, uh, xylophones, xylophones, and, stuff, xylophones yeah. and marimbas. I would be the guy who's in the front with the flag. That was. I have a picture of it. I, 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 I played a clip one time because it was in my home movie. Yeah, Frankie's home movie of all things. <laughs> All right, well, we're done here. We'll do, <laughs> let's, let's go home. Let's go home.